In this video, we are going to be discussing interconnect wiring and how this application can be used to create our RC circuit and also find our delay for that RC circuit. So interconnect wiring simply is, is that it connects two transistors together. And in this case, in this situation, I have a very simple example here where we have two inverters and this inverter, its output is uh, connected to this uh, other inverter with this certain wire. Now this wire, we have to consider two um, requirements, which is the length and the width. And with the sizing of this wire, it will also contain the resistances and the capacitance of this wire. So there's going to be a lot of stuff that will be covered. Now let's draw the RC circuit for this uh, interconnect wiring diagram, the most simplest one. So what we're going to have is we're going to draw the uh, RC circuit that consists of the invert the two inverters and also the wiring connected. So first what we have is I'm going to draw the inverter that was on the left. So we have this resistor here and then we have a capacitance here shorted to the ground. So here is our RC circuit for the inverter and also the wire. And now I'm going to label the equation for each uh, uh, parts of the circuit. So we have this R that stands for the inverter, the width stands for the width of the inverter, and we can label that as W1 of the inverter, of our first inverter. Then what we have is, for this capacitance, we have the uh, wiring capacitance. Wiring capacitance, also we'll label this as C wire or, or WI. And that is multiplied by the length uh, divided by the width of the interconnect wire, which where we have L, divided by W and this entire thing over 2 so that refers to our capacitance here and this capacitance here is also does, does also have the same uh, equation which is this and then next what we have for this resistor is the uh, uh, res the resistance for that wire which is RWI and then we simply just take the ratio of the length of the wire divided by the width of the wire and finally for this capacitance we have the capacitance that is generated from uh, the uh, inverter multiplied by the width of the inverter. So here is our RC circuit for our uh, this diagram right here with the interconnect wiring and with the inverter now what we also have to consider is the width of the inverter which I didn't include so I'm just going to include it right here and we'll label this width of this inverter as W1x and here as W2x so to calculate simply our resistance and our capacitance 
So I'm just going to go back here. That this part is uh, our inverter. This part is also our, our inverter. And the rest is basically just uh, wires. So going back to this, what we have to do is to refer to the diagram of our uh, inverter, which is simply this. So what we have is our first inverter and our second inverter. And our first inverter, we have W1, and that is the width for the NMOS. And as we know for the PMOS, the width of the PMOS has to be uh, two times the width of the uh, NMOS. And that, that is why we have two here. Same thing goes to the other side where we have two W2. So that is where we have uh, our width the, of the inverter. And what we basically do is we take the uh, unit NMOS of the resistance that would be given, so R. So say in a question, it would be labeled R. And we simply just divide it by W1. And there, we get what our resistance for this is. Now. For our capacitance, that's going to be a little different. This time, what we do so, what we do now is that we take the width of the PMOS here and also the width of the NMOS here and we add them up and then simply then we multiply by the capacitance of that of this unit NMOS. So what we have is just uh, 2W2 plus W2. We take this thing and then we then just multiply it by the, the capacitance of the uh, inverter. And that is it. And I also want to clarify that uh, in this case, then this can also be labeled as uh, it can be labeled like this. Forgot the two there. And yeah, that is how we can get our RC circuit and with respectively with that inverter and with that capacitance. And finally, I know I'm switching a lot of papers right here. Finally, what we're going to do is to calculate our RC delay. So our equation is going to look like this. It's going to basically be R simply, we're going to take this inverter, and then we're going to find our first term for our delay. So we want to find the delay for this capacitance right here. And that's basically going to be R divided by W1 multiplied by this number. So there goes our first term. And then our second term is with this uh, capacitance right here. And what we have is we take the resistance here and also this resistance here and we add them up. So what we have is uh, R over W1 plus R, the wiring resistance, multiplied by the ratio of the length over the y of length over the width of the wire. We take this uh, uh, take them up and then we multiply it by this capacitance and then we do this here the same for our capacitance we find the uh, RC delay for this capacitance right here and it's the same thing goes with uh, our second capacitance where we take the sum of this and this And that's it for our RC delay equation. And that is all that is needs to be covered about internet, interconnect wiring. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And thank you so much for watching.